Jay Sandos joined by head coach Murray Barto and Adam Salazzo of East Tennessee State Basketball with a preview of your 2011-2012 basketball season. And coach, I'll start with you first. Obviously coming into this season, uh, uh, lost a lot of scoring from last year. Mike Smith, Michael Williams, Justin Tubbs, but three talented seniors coming back. Tommy Hubbard off the red shirt, Isaiah Brown, and then of course the guy to your left, Adam Salazzo. Well, we, the first thing is, as you already said, we lost a lot. Mike Smith was a heck of a player for us. Michael Williams had a great career. Justin Tubbs could score the ball. So we've lost a lot. There are some unknowns heading into this season, but I do think we've got three great seniors that are ready to have a great year. Adam has started a lot during his career. We expect him to have a big, big year. I um, think he's an all-league caliber player. Isaiah Brown has started a lot throughout his career, very bouncy, very athletic, needs to be consistent if he is. I think he can be an all-league type candidate. And then Tommy Hubbard, I think, is one of the toughest players in our league. We really missed him a year ago. So kind of as we go, it's going to be really determined on how the seniors play. If the seniors have a great year, we've got a chance to have a good team. Still be a fairly young team and, and a little bit inexperienced, so I have to le lean on the seniors. And, and Adam, you're a guy that kind of waited your turn and then last year, a little bit of a breakout season. Now you're going to be one of the guys that the, the, that the team's going to look up to. How's that come along as far as your role kind of mentoring some of the younger kids? I mean, I've been there before. I was a freshman and had to lean on Courtney Pegram, Kevin Tiggs, and Mike Smith. So I've kind of learned from those guys and learned how the responsibilities, and it's kind of a task I want to take on, so I'm excited about it. And, Coach, obviously when you look down at Tommy Hubbard, Isaiah Brown, we know they can score. And you looked at Adam, though, especially the way he ended the year in the college insider tournament, he's able to score. But around the perimeter, there's, there's some question marks. There's plenty of guys that will have an opportunity to try to put the ball in the hole for you. Well, there will be. I think there's a lot of opportunity for a lot of guys. You look at a Sheldon Cooley, you look at a Jarvis Jones, you look at some of the new guys like a Marcus DeBose or Rashawn Rembert. So a lot of minutes out there, a lot of opportunity out there. I think we've got a lot of guys that can score. I'm not sure this will be a team where one guy gets 18, 19, 20, but I think there's a lot of guys that have the ability to score 13, 14, 15. So I think we can be very balanced. Uh, and be able to figure out a way to get to that 75 point range and if we can do that we'll have a chance to really have a nice team. Coach, how, how important was it for your basketball team to, to get that postseason experience last year and get those extra three basketball games in? Well, I think anytime you can play in postseason tournament it's valuable so it's going gonna, it's gonna to help you during that current year with that team. It's always good to get additional wins during the year. And then obviously you're preparing for the for the following year. So guys like Adam, guys like Sheldon Cooley, a guy like Lucas Pederis, get valuable minutes when you play in postseason, and that I, hopefully that helped us as we head into this year. Obviously, team chemistry is big, and Adam, you, you know, you play pickup with the guys. Obviously, before the start of preseason, now you're getting into the start of a, the actual practices leading up to your first game. How has that come along? Because there's so many new faces. How are they starting to learn the system and, and work in with some of the veterans? I was actually surprised to see how well we all mesh together. I mean, off the court, on the court, we're all like a big family. I mean, everyone gets along well, and you can uh, really tell that the guys like each other a lot. There's really uh, everyone's passing the ball and everyone's shooting the ball, so it's good chemistry as of right now. Coach, when you take a look at the schedule, and, and uh, we've talked about it many a times, but when you look at it and as far as the, the, the named opponents and the big money games, they're all within driving distance, Virginia Tech, Tennessee, um, Charlotte, Clemson. Uh, how important is that also uh, to, to get those big number games in, but then also not have the travels where you're having to go all the way to Mississippi or, or to Arkansas we have in years past? Well, I think it's good for our team, number one. I also think it's, uh, it's, it's obviously great for our fans. We've got an additional home game this year and a lot of the road games are within two, three hours. So for our fans, there's at least 20 games on the schedule this year that they can certainly see us play. Um, I'm not sure Adam and I like those seven, eight hour bus trips either, so we don't have as many of those this year, which is nice. But uh, we've got a tough schedule, but you know, you just grind away and hopefully we'll have a great month of November and December and then hopefully improve our team as we head into January. And Adam, that's got to be games, I guess, that, that most of the team looks forward to as well. Get to play in, in big time arenas and, and big crowds. Last year were up, you know, 24,000 fans and just to get a chance to, to get in the big spotlight. I mean, it's really exciting. As a kid, you always grow up wanting to play in those big atmospheres. And Virginia Tech, Clemson, Tennessee, those are all big time places. And Tennessee's always been a big rivalry game. So we're really excited to go in there and uh, hopefully come out with some wins. Coach, some non-conference home games. You'll have App State, Troy, uh, James Madison will be coming down a little later in, in January. 
but then really the conference kicks in once you start the turn of the new year. I know you have the two games down in Florida before the turn of the, the new year, but once January hits, it's straight into conference season. Well, it is. It is, and uh, there's some gonna, there's going to be some really good teams in our league like there are every year, and obviously Belmont's got a lot of you know, they've got a lot of their team back. They'll be awfully good. But there's other really good coaches in the league, a lot of good players in the league. And hopefully, again, I just hope we can play well and we'll, we'll be a team that hopefully will be right there at the top when the season's over, we hope. Coach, we've seen the, the league grow as far as uh, the competition. You know, it wasn't so, so top-heavy as it has been in years past. And then uh, a lot of new coaches in the league, and that may be a little more difficult as, uh, I think, four new brand-new brand coaches in uh, the ASUN this year. Well, it'll change up our scouting a little bit. You know, obviously when you face the same coach year after year after year, many times the system is the same. When you face a new coach, you're not sure what you're going to get. So uh, scouting will be a little tougher with some of those opponents. but. Uh, some really good new coaches in the league probably will breathe some life into those programs that maybe have struggled a little bit. So, uh, again, our focus is right now on us, and hopefully we can have a great team. Adam, the conference tournament is going to be down in Macon, Georgia. It was there the last couple of years. Does that help having some familiarity with the arena and where the tournament's going to be? I mean, yeah, it always helps. Uh, we're really familiar with that court, and we've had some success. And, unfortunately, we came a little short last year, but this year we hope to, uh, you know, go all the way. Well, Adam Salazzo, head coach Mary Bartu, appreciate you taking the time. That's a look at our 2011-2012 basketball preview.